This is Shane, and we're going to install the Subsessum client on a Windows server. So first thing we're going to do, we're starting on our backup server. Let's go ahead and open the DOS prompt and make sure DNS is set up correctly. So we're going to do a lookup and make sure we can talk to the server. The client that we're going to be talking to is W2K8R2-SEP, and we'll define the domain it does find it. We will also make sure reverse DNS is working. So it is working. We got to look up. Cool. Let's go to the client target that we're going to be backing up. Let's do the same thing and make sure we can talk to the backup server. So we'll do an NS lookup and we will verify the server. The backup server is win2k3r2-sep and it's working, so we will also validate it with reverse DNS, and it's working. All right, since we know that we can communicate between the two through names, let's go ahead and download the client. So we're gonna go to the SEP site and download the client. So when we first get to the SEP USA site, we can just go to products, and when products come up, we can go to the download page. Now, the download page will come up with a login, and we can choose which client we want to download. In this case, it's server 2008 R2, so it's 64-bit Windows client that we need. We have to log in, so if you do not have a login, when you first come to the site, you can create a login and set yourself up so you can go download this. If you don't have a license, you can go ahead and download it and get a temp 30-day license free of charge and it'll allow you to test this in your environment. If you have a license, then you probably already have a login, so it's fine. We're going to go ahead and run it. It has to decompress the install. Go ahead and set itself up and ask us for the language file. English choose next, we'll define the license, and our only option is the subsessum client. It's going to tell us the directory it wants to install in, and it'll create it, and then we have to tell it the server. So we know the server name, win2gate3r2-sep. We verify that we could talk to it by name earlier, so we should be fine there, and it'll finish the install. So if we go back while this is doing the install, when you log in here, right here, current user login or create a new account. This is where you can create an account to get your download. We'll go ahead and close this. Install is finished. Go ahead and close this and close our log window. Great. Our client's installed. Should have set itself up as a service. Everything should be working. Let's go ahead and go back to our Sepsesum server. We're going to create a new client. The client name, win2k8. 328R2 base dash sep and this is 2008R2. So we'll define the operating system. Platform, of course, is Windows. Location, if you have multiple locations, you can define the location you want this one to be in and group it together. We're going to leave it in local, say OK. When it's done, it should ask us if we want to create a backup job. We will say yes. And to create a backup job, we don't have to enter the task name or the backup type. The only thing we need to do at this point, hit the down arrow, and it should go talk to the agent and ask us what we want. So we're going to start by saying, hey, we want a system recovery. So we're grabbing system recovery, rename, set us an, up a name, re change the backup type, and set up our source. So we're going to say OK. And we will also create a new backup task, and we're going to grab the drives. In this case we have one drive on the system right now. So we're going to go ahead and select the one drive. Say OK. Again it named it. Set that up. We're going to also change this from just C to all. If we have multiple drives that'll automatically go and find all the drives and allow it to back all of them up. And we're going to rename this. We can leave it. We can change it. And note that it will use VSS. So it's going to go ahead and quiesce the files using VSS to grab the information. So it'll all be set up right. We are done 
installing the client, setting it up on the backup server.